like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead, and today has been a really busy day. Um, a few weeks ago, I think I told you that we had meat birds that were ready to be processed. Well, it became really, really hot here in the Midwest, and we did not have the plucker that we needed, and we just thought to ourselves, you know what? don't know if this is going to work and we processed our birds at 11 weeks which is quite a bit longer than what you're supposed to they say eight nine weeks we did 11 <laughs> well lo and behold guys we got chickens that weighed about seven pounds and that was completely um, shrink wrapped you know all the stuff out the feathers um, so what we decided to do is our local Amish people in our area, they will process your meat birds for $2.50 a bird. Can you believe that? So we decided because it was so hot and we didn't have a plucker and um, we just didn't think that we could do it in the heat. We probably could have, but we just decided we weren't going to do it. Um, because it was so hot and it was going to take us time because we were going to have to scald them and pluck them um, by hand which we have done in the past and it works when the weather isn't quite so hot we've done it in the fall and we have an assembly line all our friends come over and we all do it together we had quite a few friends offer to come help but we decided um, we were just going to drop them off at the Amish uh, they're local. We wanted to support them. It's a newer business. It's so clean um, and they did an absolute amazing job. I'm going to show you. They're the ones who did our turkeys as well and they just shrink wrap them. They are so clean and so uh, therefore we just decided we wanted to support the local um, small business. So I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you, you are going to flip the size of these turkeys and meat birds, but we have to show you. You're going to, you're going to I laugh. wanted to show you all the garlic that we harvested out of our garden. It wasn't as much as we've done in the past, but we are happy with an entire basket full. It weighs a ton. It looks so amazing. We dried it out for a couple weeks 
and I just now cut it all up and brought it in the house so that we can use it. Guys, you need to get ready to get, you know, your fall uh, garlic in the ground. It does best during the winter. Get yours started. I made a bunch of colloidal silver today. We were just about out. It's getting to that time when it's going to start getting cold and we're going to need more of this to build up the immune system. Good stuff, guys. If you haven't used it, check it out. Do your research. It's good stuff. I made eight bottles and we have two that are already going to someone's home who needs them. Hit me up if you need some. Okay, guys, I had to show you this turkey. It is absolutely the biggest turkey ever. This one, I believe, our children got a little zealous, I guess, with the feed. This one weighed almost 38 pounds. Huge! <laughs> I know, is that just the craziest thing ever? But look how nice they do it. Let me see, this one said 36 Let's see if I can zoom in on that. 36.4 pounds, guys. Is that the craziest thing ever? Yes, we fed them way too much. So this is going to be fun come Christmas or Thanksgiving to see how we're going to make this thing fit. But that's just one of okay, them. Okay, guys, check out these meat birds. Is this the craziest thing ever? They are massive. That one is six pounds. Let me see here. This one is 6.38 pounds. There are some that are bigger than that. Like that one over there, I think, is a big seven pounder. I'm telling you what, guys. <laughs> we, yeah, we grow big birds, let me tell you. There's some of my elderberries drying, or freezing, I should say. But yes, this is what the Amish did for us. Is that the most wonderful thing you've ever seen? And yes, we will do them ourselves next, you know, the next time. This is 24, uh, 22 birds, and we are going to, we're getting ready to order another 25, and those we will process ourselves come fall. But they uh, need to be done. It got hot. I'm gonna flip this one over and let's see. Yeah, that one's 6.39 or 37. We do have one in here that's seven pounds, but anyway, guys, I needed to show you what the Amish did for us because it was too hot for us to do it ourselves. So you can do that. Um, if, uh, if you can't do it yourself, find a local Amish or Mennonite uh, company they will do it for okay, you guys there's another one that one's 36.40 pounds can you believe that check that out the size of that thing it's huge oh my word they've pretty much taken up most of our freezers as you can tell we're having to shove things everywhere just to um, get them in here <laughs> but we did they also um, put the feet in bags for us, gizzards and livers, whatever you want, they will put that in there for you. Um, they clean them all up as you can see. And so I can use this for broth. They are simply amazing. And it only took, um, I think three days and they had them all done and ready to go. Okay guys, I just wanted to share with you a little bit what the Amish did for us. <laughs> it was amazing. We were kind of at a crunch Point where we knew we needed to get the birds done and we just did not um, have the proper equipment to do it we're hoping the next time around that we might be able to get a plucker they're a little pricey so we're just going to have to save so that we can get one and do our birds ourselves uh, the last time we did it with our friends which was years ago um, <clears throat> they I think I was telling you we had an assembly line and everybody kind of worked together and we dunked and we plucked them by hand. And that can be done if you don't have the funds to get a plucker or take them to the Amish. That's the next best thing guys and it can be done. And we have done it. And if we need to do it again, we will. But we're hoping that maybe if we get a plucker, we can share it with other friends who are gonna do the same thing. 
and um, it will just be something we can do together. Um, I don't know <laughs> if a turkey would fit in there. I really don't know if we'll do turkeys again. Those were the ones that we happened to get on the side of the road that um, had been abandoned after a truck fell over. And so we ended up feeding those four, um, I should say the kiddos ended up feeding those four just a little bit too much. We um, have never raised turkeys really. I mean, we have in the past um, as a pet. So making them as meat birds was interesting for us. It was definitely, um, I don't know, it's just something we probably won't do again. We might as a pet, maybe um, some heritage breeds, but not any of the white ones. Um, they just basically need to eat all day long and I think that's all that's on their mind so basically all we did was feed them and the kiddos did the same thing we just fed them non-stop so it ended up costing us quite a bit to feed them and they were extra large so it will be interesting come time to <laughs> make them it will be um, quite interesting but anyway um, I just wanted to share with you how if you can't and you have no way of doing it yourself, there are places like the Amish or the Mennonites, if they're in your area, that will do them. And um, it, uh, it really did work out well for us because we were a little nervous not knowing what we were going to do and they were just kept getting bigger and bigger. And so we thought, well, it's really, really hot. We can do it, but it's going to be a mess. It's going to be smelly. Um, we just happened to raise them at the wrong time, which was okay. Um, it's a lesson well learned. So next time, again, we will do them in the, in the fall, which worked for us, or early spring. Um, if you time it right, eight weeks is really all it takes, and you will have meat birds in freezer camp. But I just wanted to share with you what they have done for us and how that worked so well. But anyway, guys, I hope you are all well. I hope gardens are doing well. Ours is tired and coming to an end, and fall garden is slowly but surely starting. But if you have not subscribed, please do so. Um, we are getting very close to our 4,000 watch hours. And we're so excited. But anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up and um, ring that notification bell, and you will be notified when we do another video. Until next time, guys, God bless you.